What's going on, guys? Who's Tunde here? Welcome to another episode of Afrobeats Weekly, your podcast about African music on the continent and the diaspora. Another week, another podcast episode. How is everyone doing? Welcome to the best music podcast on the planet. It's the Afrobeats Weekly Podcast. Thank you for always making us part of your week. This is the podcast on all things Afrobeats. You know, it's always good vibes, good music jizz, good music recommendations here. But before we get into this episode, like we always do, I need you guys to please rate and review the podcast and give it all. Helps us grow, helps us get noticed. So as you're listening from your favorite app right now, just leave that five-star rating and comments. We'd really appreciate it. On today's episode of Afrobeats Weekly, you know, we know to get albums like that, but we made it work. <laughs> Let's Tyler's Tyler Plus, aka Deluxe Album. Uh, we've also got a couple of new acts, um, songs, and albums we'll be reviewing. And as usual, new songs, turntable charts, eliminate, and all that other good stuff. What's good, my G? What's good? Yo, what's good? A day, a day, a day, a day. Nothing much. Nothing much. Uh, my week was chilled. I bought uh, four for the first time. <laughs> when it got to the one one K mark, I got one thousand and thousand and ten naira yesterday. Oof. So, uh, I was just like, that's that's crazy. Someone was saying that all this. Um, I don't know if it was a joke or not. Like all these filling stations, like you know how the signs that they have outside, I say it's 900, 500, that all of them bought their their signs when the thing had only three digits. So nobody, <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody knows how to put one thousand. They never tried to get, they never tried to get to the four digits mark. But here we are, <laughs> one thousand. Oh well, yeah. So far, man. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I think that was like the other than that, listening to music, gym, series, yeah, regular stuff, consulting. Yeah. And, uh, okay, that's cool. cool. That's cool. Yeah. Slow bad week, man. Slow bad week. Yeah, that was your week. I had um, somebody's. Someone's done, man. Yeah, Someone's yeah. done. Someone's out of here. You know, the hoodies are back. The hoodies in the. The jackets are back, so yeah. you know. What can we say? You know, Somebody, we'll rock I mean, it out. Most people are, have rounded up their tours and everything. Pretty much, I mean, some people are still coming on tour, which is kind of you know, hey, no, it's people crazy. like whatever they do to get people out, you know, because yeah. like winter be like mad depressing. <laughs> so <laughs> we were like, you know what? I need to go out. Yeah. I need something. So there's some people still coming on to Oxlade, I think Fireboy. Um, okay. I just announced hers. Uh, she's coming in Feb next year. Who's that? Who's that? I didn't hear. Asha. Mm. Okay. Yeah, man. So, so yeah. Very, I'm a very big Asha fan that listens to this podcast. Oh, yeah, man. Shout yeah. out, shout out. Yeah, she's going to be shout here. Out. She's going to be here in Feb. So that'll be it, man. All right. Um, I, I guess we're we going to get them in December. All the guys that you know left us, all you artists that left us in the summer. You should you come back home now. I want to come back home. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes with this with this real situation. We'll see how it goes. Nigeria, don't worry. Money will shall come as it comes to December, one way or the other. That's what you do. One way, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, well, that's it. Um, uh, let's let's get into the news. I think it's just two news items here. Um, one is I start reaching two billion Spotify streams. Um, I star has reached another career milestone after surpassing two billion streams on Spotify, according to Spotify data aggregating platform Quob. That's K W R O B. I guess I'm. I, I hope I'm spelling that right. Um, the singer has tallied just over two billion streams as at. October 11, 2024. This week comes a month after she released her second album, The Year 2021, which has already surpassed 500 million streams. Um, I, yeah, 500 million streams. Crazy. Um, Aya, Star, Aya has two songs over 400 million streams. Um, Russian Santa, on which she made a guest appearance. Uh, that one has garnered over 455 
million Spotify streams. Um, while our hit single Rush has accumulated over 409 million streams, the Bianca's People, on which she appears alongside Omalia, has reached 106 million streams. While our hit song Bloody Samaritan has totaled 82 million streams. Um, Aya Star joins Whiskey, Burner, Rema, Siki, Thames, and David Do as Nigerian artists with over 2 billion streams across all credits. Impressive stuff, man. Yo, man, that's crazy, man. Oh, really, that's like, really, really crazy. That's like, well, I ain't, I ain't counting people's money, but <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's like $5 million. <laughs> so billion. Let me Google it. Let me just Google the words. Of course, it's not... Um, the exact number, but Google gave us an estimate: two billion Spotify <laughs> <laughs> streams. Yo, no, man. let me see. What's yeah. what two Everybody be tripping about the streaming. Everybody be tripping about the streaming. So, you see what it means. I can't. Why is it not bringing it out? What about that Google? <laughs> <laughs> Even Google don't know. Even Google don't know. Even, Even Google doesn't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to find out. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. In dollars amount. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Spotify Reality Calculator streams to money. Maybe oh, my goodness. Goes. Enter streams estimates. So, how many, bi- how many billions is zero? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> They turn into a math class. <laughs> yeah, we have to. Oh my god. I think giving me was not calculating it well, Joe. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll all right, don't worry. Um we'll come back we'll to, to our sources. It's, 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 it's not giving us the what we want. Anyways, let's go let's go to other I star news. Uh I star and Tyler lead African nominees. At the 2024 MTV EMAs, um, I star list the Nigerian contingent with four nominations for Best New Artist, Best Afrobeat Act, Best African Act, and Best Push. For the Best New Artist, I star will be up against Ben Simboon, Chaperon, Le Seraphim, Teddy Swims, The Last Dinner Party, and South Africa's Tyler. I star and Ashake, I star Ashake and Tyler are also nominated for Best Afrobeat Category. Um, that was awarded at the EMS for the first time in 2023. Also in that category are Burner Boy, Thames, and last year's winner, Rema. The 2024 EMS will take place at the Manchester's Co-op Live on Sunday, November 10. Voting for categories is open on the EMS website until November 6th. I went to the website. It's up and running, so you can vote. I think everything is a voting category, and you can vote, I think, at least twice a day because it gives you, like, a couple of hours. Like, once you vote, it gives you, like, a timer, and you can go back and oh, vote nice. again. Yeah, so um, if it's a voting category, I should pretty much think South Africans got that on lock. I'm not... I'm just putting it out there because Nigerians, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't think we have a culture for like. Yeah, I don't think we have a culture for like going to the websites and, and voting, and especially uh, because these artists so won't like push. Like, I don't know. That's just my own thinking, Sha. But anyways, let's go. Best Afro beats. We have Ashake, Ayasta, Burner, Rema, Thames, and Tyler. Who do you think is winning it? I'm, personally, I think Ashake should win this. Yeah. I don't know. Now again. It's not off his. Give me a, let's not go to the voting because obviously, since it's voting, we can't say it's about who you know has the most fans and money yeah. and people that exactly. Okay, I'm just thinking about. Yeah, yeah, like, just just give me your own. Like, who do you think is the best best Afrobeats? If it was not going to be voting, if you were like the, the okay, pan, it like wasn't going to be voting. Pan, like a right. judge, like if you were like a judge and you were casting your vote. Okay, so hit me again with the nominees: <laughs> Ashake, Ayasta, Burner, Rema, Thames, and Tyler. Uh, to me, like it's, like, it's, okay. it's, it's a tough one, but okay. First of all, I'll take Thames out of the list because I, I personally believe like her album is more R&B than Afrobeats. Yeah, Afrobeats. Yeah, yeah, that's one. That's, you know, two. I'll take Burner out of it because for the year, I would just put this year. Yeah, and you have like an album out this year, so I'll take him out of the list. So if I had to go up, it'll be between. Rema and Ira. Okay. 
So between Rema and Ira Star, those would be the two. Okay. Those would be two people for me. All right, I think I would. Well, I don't know. For me, uh, I think yeah, yeah. Looking at it and giving your elimination criteria, I think I'd go with Ashake. I feel like it's had a it's had a good year, you know. Good day, good um, third, uh, is it third, good third album. So yep. song is songs are doing very nicely. That's who I think is going to win, though. Yeah, I think he's going to win. I, I think Tyler is, as in give it, voting wise, I think Tyler is going to win. I don't know why. Just because voting wise, you think it's that. I, mean, yeah, I think it's, yeah. I think it's Ashake just based off of the fact that one is Europe. He's had the bigger tours in Europe. In Europe, are we? So his 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 markets, you put it like that, yeah. is is thriving in Europe. Yeah. Um, Tala didn't have a Tala didn't have a single tour. Yeah. Tala didn't have a single tour. That's this crazy. You know, she didn't have a single yeah. She lost tour, her voice, so the tour yeah. was cancelled, and all she of a sudden, lost her voice in quotes. I didn't say yeah, anything. Yeah, she lost her voice, man. She be yeah, singing live. Lost her voice. Yeah, <laughs> yo. yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be petty. Don't be petty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she lost her voice. She lost her voice. She lost her voice. She lost her voice. Anyway, let's go to best. Piece. I don't know what this one means. I was trying to get the. Let's just ignore this one because there's plenty. But okay, let's not ignore it because some people might be best pushed that are listening to this podcast. But it has. I have Star, Chaperone, Coco Jones, Flyana Boss, Jess Murph, Jesse Murph, Luffy, Les Seraphim, Mark Ambo, Shabuzi, Ted Swims, The Warning, Victoria Monet. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this one means. I tried to. They didn't put the, didn't put the meaning in the category, so I just saw it. Best I push? That's, that's just what was I, I was there. That's why I just put it oh. here. Wow. Well, anyway. I don't know about that. I don't know about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. But I like the best thing that screws at me is Victor Ramone, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just yeah. say Victor Ramone. All right, cool. Let's go to best new artist. Um, I have Star, Benson, Boone, Chaperone, Le Seraphim, Teddy Swims, The Last Dinner, and Tyler. The Last Dinner Party, and Tyler. <sighs> yeah, this, 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 that one again. It's like if we were just to put it between Ira and Tyler. I will put it at, I will put it at Ira just for the year, okay. just for the year. Again, she was everywhere. She was everywhere. She was on the, she had the record. She was on the tours. Ugh, her star, her star like tripled yeah. or quadrupled yeah. this year, this, this year alone. So yeah, man, I'm gonna give it to Ira. Yeah, Ira for me too. Uh, let's go to best R and B: um, Kalani, Caesar, Tinashe, Tyler, Usher, Victoria Monet. I'm surprised Thames is not here. I'm Joe, man. I'm like, yo, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, there's Tyler. There's no Thames, and Thames is more R and B than Tyler. It was, it was. Yeah, I mean, bro. yeah, you know. Although, like, what, what does she call her stuff now? Papiano. Yeah, <laughs> no, Papiano. <laughs> He said, I want to be an African pop superstar. Yeah. So don't lump you know, don't yeah. lump us up in one category. Okay. <laughs> See, that's just <laughs> it. You sounded Indian, bro. Come on. <laughs> that's why I attempt that South African accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I Oh it. my god, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah, man. Yeah, for real. All right, I mean, let's go to best African. Okay. All right. Who do you choose? I think Caesar for uh, this but, one. Bro. For the R&B, Messi yeah. doesn't even have an album. Yo, get it out, get it out of here. All right, uh, I don't know. Usher, man. That, that means it has to be between Usher and I think Victoria Monet. I would not still give it a bit. I'll still give it a Victoria Monet. All right, show's given to Victoria Monet. Best African act. Um, we have Ashake, Tyler, Aya Star, DBN, Gogo, Diamond Platinums, and Titum and Yupi. Ashake is winning that. Ashake got that. Okay. Clean, clear. Ashake for the win. I think so too. So come November 7th, that week, we'll be giving you the winners of the MTV EMAs. Uh, let's move on to new songs we listened to this week. This week was kind of, I won't say dry, it was just not as <laughs> A-list, like, as A-listy as, you know, as we, we have them, but we got very, we got fire music, um, 
coming through um right now by darko and david doe and russian uh, this one was produced by enzo mid-tempo jam i feel like if this catches fire like favorite girl then she'll have no choice to drop that debut album i like it no complaints for me i like it i like it i like it yeah it doesn't do it for me man i don't know maybe my ears of like <laughs> i know the bar has been the bar has been raised high but i don't yeah. see how this can catch I, yeah, I just don't I, hear I, it. I think it's a cat just based off, you know, her recent run and the David O stop. I don't see it, man. She was just chatting like, I'm going to take your girl. I'm going to take your girl from you. And people were like saying, Why, how are you going to take my girl from me? You're a girl. And my man, I'm just like, you people don't know this type of gay. <laughs> Y'all don't know this girl. <laughs> Y'all don't know this type of dark girls. If they say they think a girl, just believe it. <laughs> Argue. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. uh, let's move on to Malika by Tenny and Friday. Uh, this is, I think, remi- uh, yes, not even I think, remix from Malika from Tenny's Tears of the Sun album. Of course, Friday doesn't it doesn't sound off at all. It fits right in. This was one of the best songs on that album, uh, Tears of the Sun, when we reviewed it. So I think, at least mine. Um, Ten is on our Thanksgiving P. And like I said, Friday just fits right in with his beautiful voice. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's not like I'm saving it or nothing, but if I hear it, it's a, it's a good job. It's a good jump. Oh, man. I don't know. It's like, she just been making me out to be the bad guy today. But <laughs> again, it's another thing where I was like, absolutely not. It's like, yeah, I, it's I could jump. not. I could not stomach it at all. Like, at all. <laughs> They're like, man, like, uh, <sighs> like, on the album, it was pretty, but like, I don't understand what this version was. Oh, Yo. <laughs> oh. It was just, I nah, man. I, I like Teddy, you know that, yeah. but yeah, this wasn't it, man. This wasn't it for me at all. All right, let's see if we agree on this one. Free Service by Charlie Poppy. Um, how you felt about the first two songs is how I felt about this one. This one, <laughs> I feel like I've heard it like one billion and one times, and I'm like, a million oh, and a trillion can you times. Just do something mm-hmm. else, with Charlie Bobby. No, I heard you. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah this, this is not for me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> not for me. Yo, it's just take the same song. Put it in the blender. <laughs> yeah, I just because Put it in the same, add two, same dance, same everything. Add two new words. Add two Bro. new words. Blend it out. Pour it out. Hey, if y'all like the last one, you're gonna love this one. I like, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be better if it came out around the time those ones were coming out. Like, but so now, given like space in between, I'm not even coming out with anything fresh. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, no, Mr. Charlie. No, Mr. Charlie. <laughs> no, no, man. I'm not paying for this. Anyways, let's go to South Africa. Um, Do My Dance by Moonchow Sinelli. Um, I like this one. It's very different. It's like high tempo dance music. I was just listening to one of those new Music Friday playlists and it just came on after like I listened to everything. Uh, something fun. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, Do My Dance by Moonchow Sinelli. What say you? Again, you know, sometimes you, you go in the kitchen and you want something, you want something yeah. fresh. No, you know, everybody was like, you've been eating jello fries for the same, for all week. Yeah, Someone say, oh, I got this, I got this new thing I'm going to whip out for you. And be like, you're so excited. Yeah. And you try it and be like, you know what? Just give me my jello fries, man. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I feel about this record as what, well. What the, I'm what like, the word, what the word analogy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just stick to my jello fries, man. Yo, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, it. I was just like... Should you stick to the jello fries? It's not, it's not doing any high tempo dance. Well, I, I am. Nah, do my dance by Moonchild Sonelli. Um, this one, if you don't like it, then I'm going to be like, God, that means... So, they put something in your ear. They put something in your ear this week. <laughs> this week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, Painless Melody by Brye. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is my favorite drop this week. Very soulful. You know, and the track is aptly named Painless Melody. It's one of those tracks that I, I just fell in love with the first listen. The acoustic version on this page is even more beautiful. So if you like all those kind of chill, you're just driving in the sun, you want to stick your hand out vibe. Of course, you can't do that in Nigeria, but... Check it out the sunset in like LA, you're just driving. Painless Melody by Brian. I, I love this one. <laughs> I don't know about you. 
so again best song that came out this that came out this week it oh, kind of okay. reminds me of oh you're finally like oh finally, <laughs> no, but it kind of like. reminds me <laughs> of i'm trying to remember the album that we reviewed i believe we reviewed it like maybe last year and it's from one of our like our right. faves yeah. oh i'm trying to remember it but yeah it skips me it's kind of skips my mind right now but yes same thing summer vibe it is cool music i love the instrumentals i love the little how you put it like tango or what do you call yeah. it yeah, yeah, exactly. that yeah, yeah, it has i like this yeah, song yeah, nah the song is smooth the song is smooth bryce voice is great as well so hope we're, hope we're saying his name right Brian. I, I really hope so yeah man. but yeah man oh, yeah. check it out so it's a dope so, song man yeah, it is. I, I really, I, I recommend it. I know what show I was listening to, guys, but all these songs, I mean, I, yeah, I was like, ah, dope song, those are just coming and saying, I don't like it. I'm like, okay, oh, fed you. No, man, trust me, man. This was, this was not the way. Uh-huh, yes, I remember <laughs> who I was talking about. It was Taywa. Um, yeah, summer breeze. Exactly. It sounds like yeah. It sounds like this summer breeze. Like, you see, yeah. I, I'm telling you, man, it's in here, man. I got you. Uh, I got you exactly. So you see the analogy was clicking, bright summer breeze. Hand out the hand out the window, summer breeze. Uh, uh-uh, come on, yeah, man. What are we talking it. about here? That's uh-uh. it. That's it. All right. Uh, let's move on to albums, but let's quickly have a break in transmission and come back because I had to go to that Spotify royalties just to go and check. <laughs> Of obviously, it's it. not the correct, you know, this thing, but just on the average, it's saying if you're in Africa and you're averaging two billion streams, you're getting 1.8 million dollars. It's cake, uh, man. Yeah, it's cake. if you are in uh, the world, let me see. Okay, average, let me see. Worldwide. It goes to four point seven million dollars. Hey, 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 so what we do? What's going on? What's going? Hey, what my three million at? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think we should just. Where's just, my three million? Uh, this, 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 this website is very racist. That's what I can tell. <laughs> Where's my three? You know what? I'm mad. Someone's gonna pay me my three million. What? Anyway, three? So, yeah. <laughs> One point something milli to five point something milli on the average is what you get when you get two billion streams. Crazy! You have to get to those numbers to even get a million. Ugh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the streaming game is crazily fucked up. But you didn't hear from say, man. That's <laughs> bad. That's bad, man. Yeah, that's very bad. bad. Anyways, yeah. let's move on to Tyler Plus by Tyler. Uh, she just released the album. This is you know what they call it deluxe version of a self-titled album three new songs yeah. one is log drum driven shake Up featuring tony duardo optimist and is as maestro there's afro bass push to start and there's r&b back to you i like the three songs you know like i said she kind of caters to her i think th- these are like the fan bases she has now she has like kind of like you know acquired i'm a piano afro bass and r&b um, we've live been, man yeah we've read this one before my view hasn't changed still a dope album still plays well you know the album yep. was released i think in march so this march. one just gives her uh, like you know more shelf life hopefully pushes the album to the end of the year then the grammy nominations comes february then the grammy awards fall i mean comes i think next month or so then the grammy nominations yeah, come, the grammy awards come yeah so i think Yes, that that's that's what this is for. That's what this is for. Or maybe for people that missed out on the first, they'll be like, okay, three new songs. Let me listen, and they just give the album a spin again. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know if you have any any addition. Little sprinkles in there. Um, back to use my favorite song. Like I've had that on replay. Yes, it's strong R and B. Her voices, her voice, the production, everything on that song is. It's perfect. So yeah. that's my favorite song. Back to you. And again, as I you said, man, this is a strong album. Yeah. It, is, mm-hmm. it is. It is. I think I think mine is pushed to start. I like the Afrobeat flavor yeah. to it. Uh, yeah. when the snippet came up, we were like, mm, I'm a piano. <laughs> 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 this, is a, this is a piano, right? Uh, <laughs> never got to win that conversation. <laughs> no, man. Uh, hey, let, 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 the, let the girl breathe. Girl's doing her thing, man. Just leave her. She's also one of those 
people that are just born to be like stars and everything yeah, so. yo man it's it really is man it really is I put it like that it really is so shout out to her shout out to tyler and tyler plus um we've got forever by cottrell here if i'm not mistaken i think this is the second ep um if you love good nigerian r&b you love this one don't say we didn't put you on seven songs you know majority of the production was handled by Deya, so who i call the best r&b producer in the game right now he does stuff for chike he did stuff on nas boys project uh, like all this he has this indie r&b guys that once you just see Deya, so an indie r&b guy just know he's going to jump uh, so if you're in that if you're into that sweet afro r&b vibe i recommend this project you know cultural voice is very smooth i think it's kind of like starting to peak people are starting to you know play songs all over social media so this is a well put together seven song ep no complaints for me at all man no complaints i mean after the point right you, you yeah. just wonder like who's the, who's gonna be the next voice yeah you know, who's going to the next lane and i think he's like he has a solid voice yeah, kind of it now all depends on where he wants to take it. So I like this. I like the EP, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, I think it's different. You know, if you want to listen to people actually singing, this is where you go. Um, might be the fact that you 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 sort of like out of this slow R&B thing, you, you carve your niche out of it again. Because I love now and always the the acoustic yeah. version. Like the I think that's what I've been out for a while like now. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That was like, yeah, that was like the highlight of the album. But my favorite song is "Home," which is the very last song. Bro, and we can remember him. him. He was yeah. he was on our like on my personal favorite album last year, which was the yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Aristocrats so. um, album that had everybody. So <laughs> that had yeah, literally yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, and he had like a couple good songs on that as well. So, yeah, man, shout out to him, man. I, I think yeah, he's, man, I, I think he's these, got something. Yeah, so. I love these guys. This there's a new wave of R and B. Um, this guy ordeal. Uh, there's this guy I'm trying to remember now that has. Uh, anyways, the, and there's this, also this an endless ocean guy. Even though that one does like mostly like gospel music, they're building like their fan bases and social media is also like just tapping into it. So yep. what you know now, all this guy and, uh, they're selling out like small arenas and all these things, and hopefully it gets bigger. It gets bigger for them for, for uh, from them, man. Um, I, really yeah, love man. What, I really love what they're doing. Yeah, man. We need we need new people to listen to, man. Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. We need <laughs> fresh, fresh music, you know. Fresh. After you, after yeah. you tune into the Afro beats, you come back and listen to what you identify as good music. <laughs> ah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, good, music, it there. Good, good, it there. good music in good, but let's not go there. You know, what good music <laughs> here? Yeah, I, we know the argument, but <laughs> <laughs> don't take anyway, it there. Don't take it there. Uh, let's go to. On table charts this week, um, there's a new entry that just shot straight to number one. That's the only I won't say it's a surprise, but anyways, ride with me here. Let's 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 go, let's go from 10 to 1. So, 10, we have my dealer remix, K style and Kiss Daniel. Um, nine stronger young John, eight burner boy higher, seven Awolowo by Fido, six active Ashake and Travis Scott. Number five, we have Moving Omale, favorite girl Daco and Rema at number four. Number three, we have MMS, Ashake and Whiskey. Number two, that's Calm Down, Juju, Smalley, and Odumori Black, and Charlie Poppy. Number one, who, who do you think just came straight to number one and just occupied the space? Who do I think came straight to number one? Yes. We reviewed, his, we, we, we reviewed his song last week and we're like, if this song doesn't go number one, it just probably just go back to his <laughs> go back to his normal style. Was it an album? No, a Tupac. It was a Tupac. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Kiss Daniel. Yeah, Kiss Daniel. The song I said I loved. That one that sounds like a Western house I influence vibe. You know the worst part about it? I'm not gonna oh. even lie to you. I I heard that stuff 
like plain on everybody's social media for some reason oh wait it's not like no so the first time i listened to it i listened to it like while driving right and i like listened to it while driving and it ain't click but i listened yeah, to it with bad. headphones on a, on a playlist and it was actually not bad yeah it's not bad i told you you know that's what i did yeah, man, it actually it wasn't I bad <laughs> so that was yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, was, it was different so yeah um mahaba this week's number one straight to the chart this guy i don't know what to use if he's jazz if he's whatever he does no nah, man he just he yeah, just he has his, his people, people love him just, man yeah I mean, exactly what I was saying. people just love it he jumped on the trend jumped on everything and here we are man he's daniel mahaba number one this okay, week man all right um let's get into the ch- oh, okay not the charts we just left the charts <laughs> let's get into <laughs> eliminates and we are celebrating our our fashion killer aya star um in play of fashion i went to her spotify numbers i did this is her songs free maybe my feature somebody but not like somebody featuring her so this is a song featuring somebody or just basically her songs um, so uh, play of fashion one to eight two seven four five three six so one versus eight we have rush and fashion killer what say you? i know you like fashion killer so rush and fashion killer what say you then they rush no the name is from rush man all right rush for show um two versus seven we have bloody samaritan and rhythm and blues my rhythm and blues yeah i knew you were gonna say my rhythm and blues my rhythm and blues it is um four and five uh stability and last heartbreak song Did it so good to learn something and somebody got you back? <laughs> All right. Someone, ability someone has someone. been eliminated. We have last no, no way ability was going to be it. You, first of all, you know that, right? You know that. So uh, let's just. <laughs> I remember that song came out. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the first videos I did when I was doing like videos. I was like, you guys should come down now. Maybe this guy just do a commercial vibe. Maybe she see if you can enter or not. People were crazy. Here, man. They're like, the fuck? what the fuck is this? What are you doing? Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, commas versus bad bad vibes. That's three versus six. And this is a no, hard no, one. Bad vibes. <laughs> oh no, this is wicked, man. This is wicked. Man, man, oh no, no. You know, first of all, if it was that it was just only her and bad vibes, bad vibes would have gone through. And we're trying to yeah. put it like her for herself. You know. Alright, all right. Makes, so makes sense. Just just because of that. Only because of that. If not, Bad vibes was going through. If not, you know, man. Uh, so yeah, with that, let, let's what? let's put that. that. Which guy life you can never see? <laughs> Come on, mix it to the come semis. Come uh, come let's go with Rush and Last Heartbreak Song. What say you? One versus five now. I'm a, I'm gonna go with Last Heartbreak Song, just right. cause it's her in a different you. bag. You know, hard, and she's young. killing in those vocals, man. Because she steals the show. It's not even her. Like, forget that. I said that. Okay. Even someone else. But no, it's yeah, her right. vocals on this are superior. So, yes. Superior vocals, show votes, last heartbreak song, um, commas versus my weedy mum blues. What's my it? My <laughs> still, it's still, now which can life I never see. I just want to be the confessional. That's my favorite. That's one of my favorite. You know, my second favorite. I said I, I said I, I star song. That's my second favorite. I start song. Come on. So yeah. Um. Final battle. Last heartbreak song. Givion and Commas. What are you voting for? Number three versus number five. Which kind of life I never see? All right. Never seen, 
so I never see bro. That is it. I never see bro. Commas wins it. That's a number three most stream song. Um, well, according to where I went to get the data on Spotify. Um, yeah, so that's it. Last man standing on eliminates. Or let me say last song standing is Commas by Aya Star and with Small that, D Mighty. Yes, Small D D Mighty. The star of all stars. What a name. What a fantastic name to pick and you know just Yo, bro. Sometimes, man, sometimes it be yeah. it's in the stars, sometimes it's written yeah. in the stars. So, you see, so oh, <laughs> here's to all, all people that call themselves Leo Murder. <laughs> Leo, I'm dying. <laughs> Just be careful. Be careful out there. <laughs> yeah, with that, we've come to the end of the show. Thank you for listening to this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. New episode of the podcast drops every Monday. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast, Apple, Google, Spotify, wherever you get your podium from. We are there. We'd love to hear from you. Use the hashtag Afrobeats Weekly. Leave us comments, suggestions, and send you to fan mail at AfroBeatsPod. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram on at AfroBeatsPod. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out, people. Peace out. Peace, peace.